guys. Matt Harvey, a good start. Velocity was there. We saw 95 plus. Had the struggle there after that. First inning had the one, two, three inning, right? A couple of ground outs and the strikeout. Five innings or less now for the 11th straight start. What is your uh, takeaway from this start for Matt Harvey? Yeah, I mean, just not good enough. I mean, honestly, and, and he can give you all the answers after the game. I mean, really, what it comes down to, Mickey Callaway can say he wasn't attacking, he'd have a good pitch, and then he'd have a pitch that he didn't really want to compete with. I mean, here's really what it comes down to, Anthony. At this stage, you look at the 11-2 and two star, it's been fantastic, right? And the Mets have played like one of the best teams in all of Major League Baseball, and all the accolades are deserved. But when you look at it, the underbelly of it, the concern you have, the taxing of the bullpen, and right now for Matt Harvey, I don't care if it's a contract year. It's a results oriented business right so with Vargas coming back eventually and then you look at what Wheeler's start I know it's against the Marlins Matt Harvey's got to get going here as does the Mats because right now you can't you can't flirt with a six-man rotation if Matt Harvey's going to be a five inning guy that's just not good enough for this team no it's not Moose you're right about that and you know I wonder if he's got that in his mind that that he's not sort of grandfathered in as a part of the rotation for the entire year that it is still a competition I know we're not in spring training anymore but you still have to keep you have to earn your spot and then you have to keep your spot. And these sort of outings are not going to keep his spot. You're right. I, I wonder if they'll pull the pull the plug this quickly you know if Vargas is back in two weeks does that mean Matt Harvey gets two more starts to prove himself well if that's the case then he better get going because what happened tonight I don't like the phrase that that Mickey used non-competitive pitch uh, after that a, caught my ear yeah well. that's not that's, yeah. that that's a red flag to me right there because I did think he threw some really good pitches occasionally but then there wasn't the consistency that he needs to get deeper into games because he would he would have an at bat where he'd throw two good pitches and then he would make a mistake and it would get hit somewhere you know I th there was a lot of talk about that home run the opposite field home run by Villar right. being fluky and wind aided and everything the guy hit a ball out of the ballpark on you for three runs well, that's it that's I all mean, you need to know but if you're going to do that then go back to the Washington game because Rendon should have hit a grand slam yes, and right. that ball was brought back because of the because of the wind down there in DC sometimes baseball is good to you sometimes it's not you yeah. just brought up Jason Vargas of uh, the lefty there it could come back in the next week or two if he comes back who's the odd man out is it Mats? is it Wheeler or is it Harvey well, I think Matt's is safe for now. He's been pitching better than those other guys for, for right now. Yeah, someone does have to go. I mean, these things do have a way of working themselves out, and, you know, you can take whatever you want out of that, what it means, if there's going to be an injury, who knows. But usually these decisions are, are taken care of at some point. If the Mets do have to make a hard choice, then Zach Wheeler better show a little more in his second start because I do think that the pitching against the Marlins had a little bit to do with it. But I also like, Moose, the adjustment that Wheeler has made in his motion where he's got his, his hand tucked behind him a little bit right. adding a little bit more deception and keeping his arm uh, arm motion uh, sort of on schedule there so maybe that was a yeah, big but, and deal. I'll maybe that was Will, a revelation and I'll defend Will a little bit here I mean it was the same Orleans team the night before right came back from three nothing down on Jacob deGrom and I get the Marlins are going to be a terrible baseball team with that being said if you're asking me right now and I take I take Matt Harvey out of the starting rotation mm -hmm. once Vargas does come back now Matt Harvey could take a step forward I understand that and Vargas isn't coming back tomorrow but if you look at what Zach Wheeler probably has given the best of, of the back end guys. Zach Wheeler's probably giving you the most impressive start in that one start against Miami than any other guys have done combined. So how do you not throw his name into the equation and say he's going to be a swing guy or throw Zach Wheeler into the bullpen? No, no. Wheeler's been better than Matt Harvey. Wheeler deserves to be have consideration. And once Vargas is back, if he continues to pitch well, Wheeler should be in and Harvey should be out. I love the longest uh, outing of the season. I love Mickey's answer to that question when he was asked in the postgame press conference, which they showed on the, on the postgame show. Show, uh, that he hasn't thought about that yet. Now, oh, Mickey God. is obviously a planner, <laughs> so that is a conversation that has happened at some point, oh. but he's not They've ready to about talk it. about it yeah, now, that's exactly and that's right. fine. We're just not telling you. Right, about. that's fine. That, you don't have to. You don't have to make the decision <laughs> until you have to make the decision, right? That's what they always say. Yeah, so, yeah. he, you know, play those cards. Oh, you know close, they've thought was, about it. But yes, you know. that has definitely been a scenario that's been kicked around. Absolutely. Right, let's go to the back end now. Let's talk about the, uh, the, the relievers there. Paul Seawall, three innings tonight, just uh, five hits, uh, no hits, excuse me, five strikeouts. Outs. What do you make of his start tonight or his appearance? Well, Larry, I mean, he was a forgotten guy in this bullpen for a lot of the, the season so yeah. far, right? I mean, he's been, you know, they've been all this accolades and all these talking heads saying how great the bullpen's been. Seawald hasn't gotten that many opportunities. And then tonight when they really needed him to come in and give them some length out of the pen, give some other guys the night off, he comes in and is blazing away for three innings. Beautiful stuff. Five strikeouts. A lot of deception, as Mickey noted. It, it was really a nice sort of coming out for him tonight to maybe where he can get a few more 
bigger role, bigger responsibility roles going forward. It was really well needed by, by the Mets because they've used a lot of relievers, five, oh, I think, last it. night. And guys needed time off tonight, a nice breather. Oh, they Paul needed Seawalt it. Needed. I mean, they needed Seawall to give him a little bit of length because he didn't get it from the starting pitcher. And because other guys in that bullpen were taxed, and you saw Hansel Robles give a home run after the Seawall appearance. But I don't know what it means for him moving forward because it's not like it's pressurized situation. You come into a game, you're trailing the game for nothing. But for him, maybe it's an eye-opening uh, performance for an island or for a Mickey Callaway to where maybe then he gets put into some pressurized spots, give some other guys a little bit of time off. They needed it tonight, and it was a measure of desperation because Harvey didn't go deep into the game, and you give him credit because he pitched really well.